Nice, huh? Oh, very nice. What is it? CLK? 63 AMG. 2007 model. Brand spanking you. <laughs> How much did that set you back? Enough. But I can write a chunk of it off as a business expense anyway. Go on, you two. I'm not paying you to sit around playing show and tell. Use your bloody phone to call your bloody clients. I got targets to reach. Come on, Pete, I basically live here. Give me a break. Does he have a smile? <laughs> That'll be us in 20 years, mate. Yeah, probably. Anyway, we still on for drinks tonight? I don't know, mate. Kelly's expecting me home, it's a family night, and uh, I've been stuck back here every night this week. Just tell her you've got an important corporate dinner you need to go to. That's what I used to do. <laughs> See you later, eh? Yeah. Morning, Sarah. Morning, Dad. Who are you going to say early? Uni. Like every Friday. Oh. Well, have a good day then. Hey, Dad. Yeah? Are you still coming to my gig tonight? What gig? I'm playing at the Fly Fox, remember? Oh, um... I don't know. What time? Well, I start at 7.30. 7.30? I don't know if I'll be finished by then. What are you doing at 7.30 on a Friday night? Well, it's Friday morning in Israel and I've got a conference call with a couple of execs over there. You haven't seen me play one time yet and this is my fourth gig. I'm very busy, honey. Well, you're always busy. I have to work. Work? Work for what? I work damn hard to provide for this family, so don't be so ungrateful. What's the point? We're never around. What did you say? I said, what's the point? We're never around. Don't you talk to me that way. Why the hell not, Dad? I mean, you're so caught up in your own career, you don't have time for us. You're never around for anything. How many times have you seen Hayley play soccer? It's not a nice thing to say to me. But seriously, Dad, what's the point? You work around the clock so you can have a nice house and a nice car, so you can show it off to people who don't give a shit about you. That's enough. No, seriously, Dad. There are people on the streets without food, and others spend ridiculous amounts on bullshit possessions. It's not right. So that's enough! I don't need this. I don't need you. I'm going back to live with Mum. Richard, come in. Sit. As you're aware, this company is going through a tough time at the moment. Yeah, I know. They're calling it the biggest recession since the 30s. Yeah. This GFC, as they're calling it, is hitting our industry pretty hard. In fact, most industries. We're finding it very hard to keep this company going economically. So, uh, what do you suggest we do? Well, um, there's no easy way of saying this. Are you letting me go? Yeah. Well, the market's taken a bad downturn. The, the little guy's too scared to invest. I'm going to have to let a lot of you go. I thought that I would let you know first. And what am I going to do? I won't find another job that's paying anywhere near what I'm on now. But you should be grateful. You've been earning the wage you've been earning. What's that supposed to mean? I've repayments to make. Alimony's due. I will be in serious debt. You will get a large sum payout. That should keep you going until you find another job. I've repayments of almost $2,000 a week. I didn't ask you to go and buy a $3 million house. Now don't make me feel bad about this, Richard. I wish there was another way of doing it. There isn't. I'm sorry. <laughs>